Hi, welcome to a video tutorial from Robojack. In this video, we are going to see how we can control the stepper motor using L298N um, module with Arduino. Also, we are going to see how we can control the speed of motor using the potentiometer. We will see how we can increase the speed or decrease the speed of this stepper motor. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So let's get started. The module is based on L298N. There is L298 and there is H and P. So there is a flat version of that. So this is the same module as this one. They have just bent it. And also flat version of this with DIP dual in line pens. So on these two sides. And this is called L298P. These have the same specification in terms of power, current and voltage. So this has a heatsink. This is very good. And so they have these connections for connecting these uh, all the wires so if you want to connect it internally here through this or you can remove any of those to be disabled so for our purpose we do not touch this and these all should be connected so we have these pins these are the major important pins so this is enable n1 en a and the in ENB. These two must be connected to high or to 5 volts in order for the system to work, otherwise it will not work. And then we have N1, N2, N3, N4. N1 and N2 are the two winding of the input of the motor. So if this is high, this must be low. If this is low, this is high in order for the current to flow um, in the system. And the same thing in 3 and in 4. So the microcontroller will take care of that. You don't worry about it. Uh, this circuit and all these elements, they need to work in terms of logic with 5 volts. One winding and this is for the winding, the other winding. One is for the A and this is for B, which I will explain later in details. But these three pins are very important. So we have here 5 volts and then we have ground. This is a VN, it can go up to 50 volts depending on the motor type. So you connect here and then the ground. This ground is connected to your power supply that you bring the voltage here and also this goes to Arduino. So from here you have to put two wires, one to Arduino, one to the main 50 or 20 or 12 volts power supply for your motor. In my case I will be connecting 12 volts motor so this will be connected to 12 volts. And then now if you connect here 12 volts then do not connect anything to this 5 volts just leave this connected so this is a voltage regulator that 12 volts that you connect will come here and will pass here and will be converted to 5 volts and from here all the circuit will receive 5 volts if for any reason you are using 5 volt low current motor and you do not need to use external then you can connect the 5 volts and your motor will work but make sure to remove this once you remove this this will be removed and the power will not be supplied to the system. In my case, I'm using it because I'm using 12 volts and the 12 volts will come here and I will use less wiring. The width of this module is 55.3 millimeter by 60 millimeter, 60.3. And the depth of it is the depth of the, uh, with the heat sink. 28.1 millimeter. If you want to know the weight, it's around 29 grams. So here is the the bipolar stepper motor as you can see here with four wires. So we have two windings, one here and one here. The one tip is A1 and then A2. So that is A and that is B, so B1, B2. To explain the wiring, as you can see here, we have actually six pin here there is uh, some pin skipped so pin 2 and pin 5 is skipped so this connector is like that and we have all six pins 
but these four pins are connected to wire so the winding are in these and also the same way with the other one these two motors work exactly the same but as you can see here they put different colors so you cannot trust the color that uh, some people have published and they say okay follow this color red means uh, winding a and green means something different you can see they are totally different so we have to do it either with uh, ohm meter to find which one is connected to which and then also swap it or even sometimes people open this and then apply power and then see which wiring is magnetized but we'll not go with that step because you can uh, once you find the two wire the two winding for example this and this is one winding once you find this then the two will be this one but then in terms of order you will just connect it either this way or just swap it the other way and the and then once here so you do it two two times and you will find how it works here i've connected i've created this uh, to illustrate whatever i have done with this module and this is the motor and here are the connector i've connected these wires so for this these two wires the first and the third is connected here and uh, then the second and the last is connected here these two wires the first and the third is connected here and uh, then the second and the last is connected here and the only problem that you face would be that either switch these two wires and these two wires to make it work but you this last one is the first one that is for sure set this in ohm and now let me connect this to the last one which is blue on this side i'm connecting it to the blue and then now let me test the three other wires i already know the yellow it will be the third one is the other side of this winding but let me just put it in red you see ol overloads which means there is infinity resistance there is no connection there is no connection and if i put it here you see i'm reading 3.7 ohm or 3 ohm so that is done so blue and yellow are connected so now green and red definitely that's the left over so green red and then this is green and you will see again around 3 ohm on the other one now i've connected this into the, this wiring and then let me check this motor now the same, way, the same way as it is so the first one and the third one is connected here so here if I go to the second one now it shows the so I know the first and the third one is connected which is red and blue but you see here they swapped it here so the red and blue are side by side so if I put this one at the first one and the second one I'm reading around 9 ohm the reason we are, I'm reading 9 ohm with comparing to the other one which was around 3 ohm this is smaller than the other one so the bigger the motor the thicker the winding and the lower the resistance this has very thin wire and the higher the resistance now then the other two wire is the last one which again I'm reading around 9 ohm let me explain the wiring from the board we have on this side we have en1 ena and we have enb these two are enable pin they need to be at five volts in order for this module to run the motor if they are not connected or they are connected to zero the motor will not run so this is the way to control the motor even the data comes to control the motor but the main start and stop of motor is these two so these two are supposed to be connected to 5 volts in this case I've created 5 volts at the pin 2 and 3 E in 1 in 1 in 2 in 3 and in 4 these have been connected accordingly to pin 8 9 10 and 11 that's why we will see the definition of this on the code at 8 9 10 and 11 so these four pins are done 
Now, this is for the first winding of the motor. These two, this goes accordingly. In this case, in my motor, I have four wires. Here, this is the VN pin. V VN pin is connected to the 12 volts that I'm running here. So when you are connecting this to 12 volts, then this jumper is here. So when this is connected to 12 volts and that jumper is connected, this jumper can be removed like that. And if this is connected, you don't need to connect that 5 volts because this will supply this regulator will supply 5 volts for the whole system. So this is connected to the ground. The other ground is one ground must be connected to Arduino, otherwise it will not work. And the other ground will be connected to the 12 volts with this wire. So this, this goes to the 12 volts, this is goes to the ground of the 12 volts, and then the middle one is connected to this ground of Arduino. Arduino IDE, click on File, Examples, and then scroll down to Stepper, and then select one revolution. So this is the code. I've just added this line. This is the portion that I've added top here we are including the stepper.h you don't worry once you do, once you have Arduino running this is already included this uh, library and here is the important part that uh, my stepper motor has uh, 1.8 degrees per steps and total 360 degrees is 200 uh, steps per revolution so majority of these motors are in this uh, value but if it's different, set this accordingly. And then the pins are at the pin 8, 9, 10, and 11. We have four wires that is connected to this motor. So, and then uh, we are creating a, a, an instance of this object. From the void, this was already there. And I have added these. The reason for this is that, as I explained in the hardware, uh, for the pin 2 and 3 for the enable we need extra connection so I'm putting it here but if you are using a breadboard and if you need to use pin 2 and 3 you can eliminate this and just connect pin 2 and 3 to 5 volts directly so I've added this one in the code in all these sketches we will have this one so inside the loop this is printing the text on the screen for us and then this is running the step per revolution so that is the value that we have defined here it's being used and then we are waiting 500 milliseconds before going the other way and then counterclockwise and then here the only difference between this line and this line is this negative sign so it rotates on the uh, in the other direction and then again we wait 500 milliseconds or half second and continues like that So currently it shows counterclockwise, as you can see. It, it, and now it shows clockwise. You see the direction of these values are different. So you can switch the direction in two ways. One way would be this four wires that you're connecting. So just watch that. If I just switch all of the wires. Now, as you can see, counterclockwise is counterclockwise now it goes clockwise as you can see here it's clockwise so to speed this up 
this speed here it says 10 revolution in one minute so now if I make it 100 now this is running faster Now we are running the speed control. For speed control, I'm using a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer here. You can use the other potentiometer that you can rotate it with the screwdriver, doesn't matter. But because I'm using this one, it has three pins. So the three pins are used such that this is connected to five volts and this is connected to the ground and this is connected to the A1 in here. So go to file examples and stepper and load speed control the last one at the bottom so once you load uh, the, the first line is including the header library stepper library header and then the again like before 200 revolution per uh, so we have 200 steps per revolution for this motor, like before. Again, this is a variable for counting the steps. And inside the setup, initially there was nothing. All of this have been added. I add them to enable the two poles. So this is for one, enabling one pole, and this is for the other. And here we are reading analog zero using analog read and storing the value into sensor reading in this case we are using potentiometer and then we use the map map is an internal uh, method or function by arduino what it does is that we say get this variable which is the value of the potentiometer and the value of potentiometer is from 0 to 1024 so this is 1023 so it has 1024 steps so get values between these two values from 0 to 1023 and map it between 0 to 100 and that is the motor speed so once it maps it we get from here which is 700 600 or something up to 1000 it will be something between 0 to 100 and the value will be stored here now this is a value that the motor header needs and here we are checking it to see if it's bigger than zero then do this and then uh, do this calculation divided by 100 and then set the step uh, so it will run based on how you rotate this so now let me upload this And as you can see, the motor is rotating. So if I turn it clockwise, it becomes too slow. And if I turn it counterclockwise, it becomes very fast. So slow. And also these lights will also these lights will help you to so when the speed is very slow you can see the lights so now if I put this at the maximum measure the current So the current is 1.38. So 
So the current is 1.27 or 1.26 ampere. The slower the motor, the higher the current. On Arduino IDE, click on File, Examples, and go to Stepper. And this time select one step at a time. This is the original code. I've just modified it for our purpose. So a header is needed. A step per revolution is for this motor. You have to adjust yours accordingly. And then we are initializing the library with these pens, as I've explained it before. And then this variable is needed for counting the steps that shows on the screen. And then inside the setup, this was the original one with initializing the serial monitor 1600 baud. If I click on monitor and open it, this is 9600, it's mass match. And then these are the code that I've added. So I've initialized pin 2 as an output and pin 3 as an output and then set pin 2 as high and pin 3 as high. This is for enable 1 and enable 2. So my stepper dot step so that is a step we want and then this is printing the text this is just step count so this will not affect the operation it's just for the display this and this is affecting so 200 millisecond it will go one step and then again one more step at 200 millisecond if you make this smaller it will rotate faster and if you make it uh, larger it will go slower let me upload the code and see it so this is one step at a time and it's going in this direction to make the motor rotate in reverse just put negative once you put a negative it will rotate in the other direction now it will go to this direction so this was the introduction to L298N motor driver stepper motor and DC motor that I've just shown you Please make sure to subscribe so you can get updates of, um, of my, my upcoming videos, which I'm going to explain this one to control a DC motor, two DC motors in both direction. And also I'll have a video for the Arduino motor shield, which is very nice, very useful. And also I'll have another video shield. So take care.